Well, let's go back to that story now. Sorry for that mix up. A 30,000 bird capacity farm with potentials to generate 1.1 million naira daily from egg sales has been established in Yobe State. The farm, which targets boosting poultry, meat, and egg production in the country, is a project of the National Agricultural Land Development Authority. A correspondent, Lara Falai, reports. This bed farm in northeast Nigeria is part of the federal government's farm estate project across the country, aimed at employment generation and fighting hunger, amongst many benefits. The farm, where thousands of birds will be bred, has potentials to generate hundreds of millions in revenue for the country on an annual basis. This centre is like a reproduction centre that will be producing our locally improved birds that will be distributed across the country in order to encourage our local beds and to maintain our old stock. This farm has the capacity of generating 850 eggs daily. This is a first-of-its-kind facility in the part of the country where the project is located. The state's authorities are glad about the project and want beneficiaries to make judicious use of it. We are ready to cooperate with NADA to we'll ensure that this project is very sustained. Let me take this opportunity to reiterate my appeal to all and sundry to continue to pray for the full return of peace in the whole of North East and other parts of the country. For the benefit of this community and for the benefit of the people. The Senate president seeks that the facility's capacity be expanded as existing targets may be insufficient to meet demand. He nonetheless commends the effort, which is in line with the country's diversification goal. We are diversifying the economy of Nigeria through agriculture, and we have done so much as a country, as a government, in the last six years or so, to show that we have meant our work. No previous administration in Nigeria has spent the kind of funds, resources, in agriculture than this administration. The project will be managed by the private sector and commercial banks to ensure its sustainability. Lara Folayo, TBC News, Abuja.